my name is Sandy McTeer. I'm an artist with Dynasty Brush. Today I'm going to show you a really cool, quick project that you can do and take a thrift shop find from drab to fab. All right, so I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes in the Dynasty line. That's the black gold. This is a black gold three quarter flat wash. What I love most about it is I really love the way it it rolls in my hand, it fits in my hand. You just have to have that brush that fits and is perfect. So um, that's this brush. So it will do a lot of things, a lot of different surfaces. I can paint with oils on canvas. I can paint with a styling paint on a leather, you know, faux leather purse. Um, and it will leave very few brush strokes. So let's get started. I'm going to just get the brush wet, tap it off on my paper towel load up a little bit of the paint and you can probably see right there as that is loading that nice bounce that you get um, pushing down on the flat of it but it just almost springs right back up and that's one quality that I look for in a brush and the black gold is perfectly made to do that so I'll pick up some white and I'm just going to paint in the background right now a little bit of white at the top Pop it right over here. So this is, brush is well balanced. And again, as you know, an artist, I look for that in a brush because I want it to feel right in my hand. I want it to move nicely for me. These bristles move beautifully, um, regardless of what paint you use. Again, oils, acrylic, mixed media, which is what we're gonna do today because we're actually gonna use some stamps. And I'm gonna show you some specialty brushes that you can use for the stamp we're using today. So again, I'm gonna pick up a little white, then I'll come back and pick up maybe a little bit of this aqua and work that in. Get a little bit of an ombre effect going on. So again, the flat of the brush. That paint comes beautifully right off those bristles. I'll lift that handle up. slip slap with the flat of the brush and go a little bit softer just to make sure that I don't have those chisel edge marks um, as I'm pushing down and just get that nice little mix between the white and the aqua all right so just move that around and again that control these brushes have great control um, the bristle, if I push hard, will give me that snap back right up to the chisel edge if I need to use it. I can maybe abuse it a little bit, slip slap on the corners of the brush, but look how beautifully it comes right back to that nice chisel edge. And it really is a characteristic that I look for in a flat brush. And the black gold line is perfectly made to do just that. So again, I'll slip slap that around. Technical terms, slip slap. Okay, we'll move that handle out of the way, pick up a little bit more of that aqua, and again, just gonna go for that ombre look, a little bit lighter at the top, a little bit darker at the bottom, and that chisel edge is gonna give me a nice control right here along the edge, but if I do go over just a little, a soap and water cleanup or a little bit of black style and paint will cover it right up, okay? And you just get right in with the chisel edge, get all those fine little details. And again, take this purse from this kind of drab looking tan to a really pretty, beautiful color. Just a little more aqua on the flat of the brush. And again, I'm just using the flat and I'm going back and forth so that the paint comes off both sides. Get right up on the chisel edge. As I'm pushing on that chisel edge, it'll make a nice thin little line for me so I can get right next to that detail without going over into the zipper. You just wanna ice skate. Think of it like ice skating right along the tippy tips of those bristles. It's gonna give you that nice little chisel edge so that you can get in there tight with those details, not get into the zipper area. So again, that aqua color, pick that up, get right on that chisel edge. Get the edge of that purse. All right, so I'm gonna leave the paint in the brush, wipe it across my paper towel, and again, I like to wipe it flat just to keep that nice chisel edge. Pick up a little darker blue color, come right here to the bottom. 
Again, look at that gorgeous little spring. See how that just springs right back up as I'm loading it. Super, super key in a brush. And um, this one does it very nicely. Just pops right back up. And it really does make a difference as I'm painting. If I had a brush that just kind of laid flat and it didn't move, it's that control and that balance that Dynasty puts into their brushes. Those bristles will react to the pressure that you're putting on it. You know, as I loosen up on my pressure, that brush reacts exactly the way you want it to as an artist. So it will move beautifully for you with the pressure you're putting on it or the lack of pressure that you're putting on it. So again, I'm just going to come down here into these little areas and paint that dark blue on. And we'll get this all base coated in and then add a nice little design to it. Just slip slap back and forth. Again, you can wipe the flat of the brush off on a paper towel. Get that nice little crisscross stroke right between where two colors meet. It's going to give you that nice blend. Come up into the light just a little bit. Come down into the dark. But if you feel like you have too much paint on that brush, you simply just wipe the flat of it off on your paper towel. And it will take that paint. These brushes are super easy to wash. Soap and water clean up. You want to make sure you don't rake them. I like to just swish it in my water basin and it comes nice and clean and ready for the next project. So again, just right on that chisel edge, keep that nice little detail and the paint on the edge of that purse. Okay, and then again, right down here. So the flat of that brush, up on the chisel edge. And we'll fill in our last little bit here. We'll let it dry. I'll show you some of these cool specialty brushes that you can use when using stamps with paint. And we'll add a sweet little design on here. And again, take our drab thrift shop purse to fab. Again, wiping off the brush. And then I'm just going to soften it. So light pressure. Those bristles again, the filament in a, um, the black gold is a beautiful bristle that's just going to give you that nice soft little touch if you need it to. I could add texture if I wanted to, but I'm not going to have brush strokes because the flat of that brush is just going to glide right along those bristles. And the paint's just going to react beautifully to that. There we go. So we're going to leave that to dry and when we come back we'll use those specialty brushes, some stamps, and make a really cool design on our purse. Let's add a fun embellishment to our purse. I'm going to use a Dynasty large oval foam brush. It's the IPC line and the IPC stands for ink, pastel, and chalk. But don't let that limit you how you use this brush. I could use ink but I'm a painter. I want to use paint and I want to use my brushes. So I'm going to load up this beautiful soft foam brush with paint. Tap that into the foam. And I'm going to tap that onto my stamp. And I'm just using a large rubber stamp that has a dahlia, or it is a dahlia. And I'm just going to tap that paint. And that brush is soft enough that it's going to keep it just on the ridges of that stamp because the way that I'm tapping it and pushing it, it's just going to load that up with just enough paint so that we can stamp that on our bag and add a nice little design. Kind of position it and then I'm going to lay it in place and I'm going to stamp. Okay, so after we stamp that, I have a couple of lines that need to be filled in. I'm going to do that with a black gold round brush that is perfectly formed. It's not cut, it's formed right to that beautiful tip. So I'm going to load that. I rinsed it out first, dry it on my paper towel. I'm going to load just a little bit of black paint right on the tip of that brush. And that nice tip will give me a very nice little line right here to fill in the rest of that shape that didn't transfer with the stamp. Little petal right there. And again, I'm just going to rinse this brush, swish it in the water. All that paint will come out nicely. And then I do like to just kind of roll that. First off, I like the way it feels, but I love just to get that nice tip right back on that brush so it's ready for me to use the next time. 
So what we're going to do now is I'm going to use a 3 8 angle brush to fill in the paint on our stamped image. It has a nice toe at the top and heel at the back with a sharp chisel edge. So I'm going to go ahead and get that wet, tap it off. And again, I'm going to load the toe only, so I'm going to let the heel point to the sky, pick up a little bit of paint on the toe of the brush, and then I'm going to tap that just to work that paint right into the toe of that brush. And then I'll flip it over just to make sure that it's worked in on the other side. So I'm going to have the blue on that toe only, and there's a little bit of water, a little moisture in that brush. So that's going to pull that paint over slightly and give you that really beautiful bleed. So we'll come in here on our petals and just at the base of each of those petals. So notice the heel is away and the toe is right next to the base of that petal. And I'm going to lay that paint in. And that's really all I'm going to do for this flower. I'm not going to add, I don't want it to look overly painted. I just want to give it that nice little touch. And I think this dark rich blue at the base of these petals is going to do just that. Again, you can load more on the toe as you need. Right down there, float that right into the base. And then I'm just walking that brush up slightly so that it bleeds just a little bit more as it comes up. That way it won't look outlined. It actually looks like you floated that color on. And again, I'll just continue to float that color right around those petals. The stamp is just a guideline. I'm not going by every single exact line here. I am just painting what looks like petals to me. And then all this stuff in the center, I'm going to show you how to take care of that. I like to take away the look of the stamp so that it looks um, to the eye like maybe I drew it out instead of stamp the image on. This paint has a built-in sealer, so it will go on and you don't have to seal anything on top of it, but it moves beautifully with these brushes. The black gold, that filament on the inside, again, great for oils, for acrylics, mixed media, which we're doing here. And this is a leather purse, and again, it's just flowing the paint right off the bristles, right onto that surface. And again, we're not going for that heavily painted look. We're just really highlighting the base of each of those petals. So again, the toe of the brush, just floating that color right at the base of these petals, giving you that really pretty dark color to the base of those dahlia petals. Super easy, super fun, and that angle brush does most of the work for you. I could use a flat brush, but again, what I love about that angle is my heel kind of stays out of the way, and that toe, that point, that nice chisel edge is going to get that paint right in exactly where I want it. And then I'm just going to kind of run that toe of the brush right along the inside edge just to kind of soften this look in the center. I'm going to go back to my six round. I'm going to load up, just slightly roll it to get a little bit of that white paint loaded on the tip. And I'm just going to highlight a couple of these petals. So again, see that nice tip is going to give me just a tiny little line. Again, I could use a liner brush, but the belly of this is going to hold enough of that moisture and let that paint come right off the tip that I actually can paint more petals with this than if I were using a liner brush. So again, I'm just going to highlight the tips of these petals, just that one side with that white paint. Make our dahlia come alive. Again, this is a mixed media piece, so I don't have to make it look exactly like the stamp. Or if you have a line drawing, you have a little bit of artistic license to kind of make it what you want it. And that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, so in here I'm just going to highlight some of these tiny little petals that come in the center here. Let's pull those back. Again, just with the tip of that brush, lightly tapping. I'll swish out the brush, roll it on my paper towel to get that paint out. We'll pick up a little bit of that background color and take away some of those white little dots. I'm going to go back to the angle brush and again load the toe of that brush. So I'm going to have the heel straight up, the toe touching the paint, 
flatten that brush and then right here in the center I'm just going to float some of that color along the bottom of that center um, in the middle of that flower just again kind of set it in and that toe does that beautifully you just get in there nice and tight in that little spot and float that color and again at the base of these petals like we did before maybe add a little bit more there so I'm not going to add leaves or anything else to this. I think scroll work is going to set it off perfectly and give it that nice, flowy, um, soft, kind of whimsical look. So with the angle brush, remember we just loaded the toe and we shaded in that color. Now I'm going to load the whole brush. So the entire brush, flat on both sides, I'm going to load with the white paint. Any water around the ferrule, which usually doesn't happen, but just make sure you don't have any water around that ferrule. Okay, so with the angle brush, I'm going to start on the chisel edge. I'm going to push, pull, and slide on that beautiful chisel edge to get a nice scroll stroke. See how pretty that just flows right on. And you can get these beautiful scroll strokes with an angle brush. Same thing with the round brush. That form tip on the round brush is going to give me the same look. So I'm going to touch push, pull, lift up on my pressure, and I'm going to slide to the tip of the brush. Again, I'll come here, push, pull, slide, and then that little curly cue again here, around, slide, see that nice thin little line? So again, very similar looks, angle brush, round brush. One final little brush I want to share with you. Again, this is from the IPC line, which is the ink, pastel, and chalk. And you don't have to use it just for that. I like to use it for little embellishments. This is the small detail foamer. It's got a nice firm, but not too firm foam tip, nice little point on it, and it makes perfect dots. So I'm going to dip that into the white paint and I can make little dots right around my curls. Again, my black gold and IPC brushes by Dynasty. They have helped me take this thrift shop bag from drab to fab.